guys welcome back to my channel so I was not planning on filming today I just like threw this on real quick I look a hot mess but I got this little guy in the mail today and I was gonna swatch them on snapchat and I was like I should probably film a YouTube video on it so these are the new NARS power matte lip pigments there are 20 shades they are available exclusively July 5th only on the Sephora mobile app. So I'm not a huge long wear matte liquid lip kind of person. I like something more like the ColourPop Ultra Satin, something a little bit more moussey that doesn't totally set down. That's just what I prefer. I feel like I'm such a wuss. I always say that. I'm a wuss when it comes to matte lips. Some people can wear them all day and I have it on for like an hour and I'm like, oh my gosh, my lips are so dry. But nonetheless, I kind of know what to look for in them. Like I still know how I want it to feel. I would love to find one that just wears all day and it doesn't dry my lips out. Maybe these will be the ones, but I'm gonna swatch all of the shades on my hand and I'll try a few on and then I'll do a wear test and I'll check in. I'm going to try to keep this video as short as possible. I know some of you guys want shorter videos which I'm going to try to do. So let me stop talking and let's get started. So I have no like plan for this video. I'm just opening these up for the first time. I swatched one on Snapchat. I just thought I would turn the camera on, sit down and we can kind of figure them out together. These were sent over as PR, so these were a press sample from NARS, which I greatly appreciate. So it looks like there's a good amount of nudes, which is usually what I go for. This is the shade that I swatched on Snapchat. I think this is the shade that I'm going to put on my lips. It's just like a traditional nude. It's not too dark. It's not too light. It's called Get It On. I'll do a close-up so you guys can see it. So yeah, let me put this on now and we'll see kind of how it wears throughout the video and then I'll keep it on and do check-ins. I should probably turn my phone off. Okay. So the packaging is very cute. You can see the actual product inside, which is nice. So you can see the exact shade, not just like a plastic representation of what they think the shade looks like. You know what I mean? This is the actual shade. So the applicator is a little weird though. It is very small and it's pointed, which I don't know. I was not expecting the applicator to look like this, but we're going to try it on and see how it applies. It has a very faint vanilla scent. It's not overpowering. It's not too strong. It's just, it's very faint. So I don't think this would really bother anyone. Maybe if you're super, super sensitive to scents, this might, but... It's not strong or overpowering, like I said. Okay, let me try this one. Oh, mm-hmm, good color payoff. It feels kind of liquidy. Yeah, it's very thin and very liquidy. I feel like I need to dip back in. Okay, so this applicator is not bad. It's just different. I can feel it already going matte. So I will swatch the first shade, which was Get It On, which is the one that is on my lips. That is one swipe. Let me build it up a little so you guys can really see it. I feel like it's not too cool. It's not too warm. It's just a good nude. Let's see if we're set. Mm, almost. There's like a little tiny bit of tackiness left. The next shade is called Walk This Way. And this one is another nude. This one's more of a pinky nude. So we'll do one swipe. So definitely pigmented. I'm just gonna build it up so you guys can see it better. Yeah, this is pretty. I turned my brightness down a little, that should help. Okay, so walk this way, really pretty. 
the next one is just what I need just what I needed excuse me my camera stopped recording just as I was doing that swatch so that is one swipe build it up so that one's a little bit deeper of a nude very pretty they they do set pretty quickly but not too fast that you don't have time to work with it which I like the next one is called American Woman another nude there's a lot of nude shades which I like that's one swipe. I'm probably just going to end up doing all close-ups, even though I'm doing these. Because sometimes I feel like my lights just wash things out. This one is called Slow Ride. This is a more like brown nude. But you can see the pigmentation is definitely there. I'm loving all these nude shades. Next one is called London Calling. And this one, are we done with the nudes? This one's like a purple, like a deep, almost like a cool tone purple. Ooh, that's really pretty. I like that shade a lot. This one is Save the Queen. I'm not really going in any order now. I'm just kind of grabbing. Save the Queen. Oh, that's a gorgeous, like, deep mauve. Mauve. Some people say mauve. Some people say mauve. What do you guys say? Tell me down below. Look at the pigmentation on these. So far, every single one has been really pigmented. This next one is called Warm Leatherette. And this is a gorgeous, like, magenta pink. I love shades like this. Oh, look at that. That is so pretty. Oh, I should have put this one on. Yes, I love that color. That is gorgeous. Okay, I shifted you guys a little. I feel like I was, like, I was, like, so low. The next one is called Give It Up. This is another deep magenta. It looks very similar to the last one. Oh, it's a little bit brighter. Oh, this so far is the, the sheerest one. It's still pigmented, but it, it was a little bit more sheer than the others. This one is called Low Rider. Ooh, this is a pretty like watermelon shade almost. Build that sucker up. These look nice. I have high hopes. I'm trying to get it so there's no glare. Next one is called Under My Thumb. Some of the names NARS comes up with are crazy. Ooh. That is pretty. I'm doing this in my mirror, like backwards, so bear with me. That's a gorgeous deep red. Few more to go. Next one is called Wild Night. Ooh, this is like a vampy purple. That was like a terrible swatch, sorry. Here, I'll build it up. Ooh, that baby is pigmented. I feel like I haven't done one of these swatch videos in so long. I used to do them a lot. This next one is called Get Up, Stand Up. Are these named after songs? I feel like a lot of them have been song titles. Okay, this one is like a bright, like poppy reddish shade. Mm -hmm. This is gorgeous. Oh, I love that color. Very, very pretty. They're all pretty. 
Next one is called Light My Fire. Hey baby, light my fire. This one's a bright ass red. Like an orangey red. Oh yes, I love shades like that. So good. Woo, that is so stunning. That's one of my favorites so far. Next one is called Just Push Play. This one is a deep, like a brick red. Oh look, I actually made a straight line. Yeah, for as sheer, not as sheer, for as thin as this formula is, these have a really, really good color payoff. Next one is called Star Woman. Another red shade. There's a lot of reds. I'm starting to veer over this way. Ooh, look at that. I'm going to get back over to where I'm supposed to be. And this guy is called Done It Again. This is, ooh, this is a brown shade. Ooh, hoo, hoo, hoo. that's gorgeous for fall. Yeah, pigmentation overall is really, really great. I'm very impressed. Three more. This guy is Don't Stop, another red shade. Wow, so many reds. That's like a true classic red. Classic pig. Do you guys watch Saturday Night Live? I only watch when Justin Timberlake is on. Is that like terribly stupid of me to say? But he's so hilarious. Okay, two more. Rock with you. This one is a deep berry shade. Mm-hmm. Wow, that is pigmented. Sorry, I like keep repeating my, oh shit. Did you guys even see what I just did? I was totally out of frame, I'm so sorry. The last one is called Paint It Black. And this is black. So for all of you black lipstick lovers, you're in luck. Ooh, I wish I could pull off black lips. I feel like with the right look, maybe. But I just don't think I'm cool enough. So that is all of the shades. There is a very good shade selection. There's a lot of reds. If you're a lover of red lips, there's definitely going to be a shade in here for you. Everything from here to here is so like my kind of color. I love all of these gorgeous different tones of nude and like pinky nude. I love this deep purple shade. They're really pretty. And I like that they put a black lipstick in it. I like that. I think that's a good touch. Oh look, it's like so off. This one surprisingly, I feel like it hasn't totally set. Well, nothing really comes off when I touch my lips, but it still feels a little bit tacky. So I think I'm gonna take this off and put on one of these bright shades and just keep it on for a few hours and see how it holds up. So which do I want to put on? Hmm. This one's pretty. Should we go a little bit brighter? Maybe I'll do one of these bright pinks. I'm going to do this guy, Warm Leatherette. This is this one right here. Okay, let me wipe this off. Let's see how easy this one is to take off. Not very easy. Did anything even come off? A little bit. Mm, it's coming off, but it's definitely on there. Like, I really have to work at it. A little trick that I do, I always take my NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer. I don't know why I always use this one, but it's always this. If I wipe a lip product off and it looks like, you know, your mouth looks kind of red and it looks like you wiped foundation off, 
I just always take this, sometimes with a beauty blender or a sponge, and just good to go. And then I put a little, little bit of powder on top. I'm going to use my NYC Smooth Skin Powder. I love this powder. It's so inexpensive. Pointed tip is good for like getting into the corners of your mouth. It's very, very pigmented. I suck at putting lipstick on without a lip liner, like immensely. This color is so pretty. So right now it is 5.58. So I'm going to go about my evening, go upstairs, make dinner, which I dread. I hate making dinner so bad. Um, and we'll see how this is holding up. I'll check back in in like an hour or so. Hopefully we won't have butthole lips. That's like my biggest gripe when I'm wearing a long wear matte lip. I hate when the inner part wears away. It just looks so awful and it's like what is the point this looks like shit so hopefully these don't do that we will find out so i'll see you guys in a little bit so quick little note before i go i was just screwing around doing stuff on my vanity oh that sounds wrong but i was just cleaning up and stuff and i touched my lips now i've had this on for a good 10 minutes and it's still puts lip product onto my hand so I don't know if these 100% like set I feel like you might still get a little bit of transfer no matter what I feel like they don't ever 100% become totally matte which is weird from the way that they describe it I thought they were going to be like really matte and totally transfer resistant. They don't say that they're transfer proof. I don't know why I just got that idea in my head when they say like the most powerful matte yet. I just feel like that means like very matte. So anyway, something I wanted to mention that I don't think they're going to fully set. Anyway, just something I wanted to mention. So I'll see you guys in a little bit. Peace. And I'm back. It is 7.23. So I've had this one. I ate a popsicle. I was outside passing football with the kids. It's still doing pretty good. I'm not too buttholey. Buttholey? Yeah. It still feels really comfortable. I have come to totally 100% realize that these, ugh, that these are not drying down. They do not, they dry down like 97%. There's just a little tiny bit of transfer. It's very minor. So I think that's all I have to report right now. It's doing good. It feels really good. It doesn't feel dry. I'm, I'm impressed thus far. We'll see how it goes another hour or so. That's when you can really tell. Like three hours in is usually when my breaking point comes. So, so yeah, I will see you guys in a little bit. I'm back. You're such a cheese ball. So anyway, it is 9.49. So I've had this on for almost four hours. It's still doing really good. I'm very surprised that it's not drying my lips out yet. It doesn't feel dry. It feels really good. It did a little bit of the butthole thing. Like you can see a little bit, but it's not too bad. It's not nearly as bad as a lot of other liquid lips that I've worn. Um, and like I've said a thousand times in this video, I like that these don't fully, oh my God, there's a fruit fly in here and it's, come here, come here. Come on, bitch, come on, bitch. I like that these don't totally dry down. That for me is a good thing. You will have to kind of base it off of what you like. If you want something totally matte that's not going to move, it's not going to transfer at all, 
these might not be for you. Now, the, it is, like I said earlier, it's like 97% set. It is a very, very minor. Like, there's not a lot of products coming off. I have, I, I'm oh, such a mess. But there's not a lot of products coming off when I touch my lips. It's just very, very minor. I think the scent is nice. It's very soft. It's not overpowering. They're easy to apply. The applicator is weird looking, but I think it works. So overall, just like first impression, I, th I think these are nice. They're comfortable. They are matte, but they're still comfortable. I don't know where I was going with that, but I like them. Okay, we're, we're a little butthole. We're a little butthole. I don't know. It doesn't feel dry. It doesn't feel crumbly or crackly. I look a tragic mess. I'm like so greasy. I, I like this. It did not bleed at all. And I did not use a lip liner. So that's very positive. And it was very, very easy to apply. I'm the worst without a lip liner. I'm the worst. So for me to be able to do this without a lip liner, that's impressive. So overall, I feel like these are... These are good. I mean, I don't want to like hype them up too much because I've only had this on for a few hours. But first impression, I feel like they're going to be good. So if you guys try them, let me know what you think. Are you excited about them? Are you going to pass? Tell me down below what your thoughts are. So yeah, I will see you guys on the flip side. What is wrong with you? Anyway, I love you guys. Thank you again for hanging out. I will see you guys next time. Bye. Bye, guys. I'm trying to get this thumbnail, but I'm sweating like a whore in church. Oh, uh, this is going to be a mess. Jeez Louise! Ugh, this tiramisu is for my neighbor, but I really want to eat it. Oh, it looks so good! I know this isn't the long... There's not a ton of mats. There are a good... Um, I think this... Shit to a fruit fly.